Good morning fellow disciples. Our devotional today is entitled Pray Like David. God's promises always come to pass. He is faithful to his word. He knows the plans and purposes that he has for you and your family. Prayer is simply having a conversation with God. God had just promised King David that his dynasty would continue forever in Israel. What has God promised you and what was your response to him? May it be like David's response in 2 Samuel 7 verse 18 to 29. Then King David went in and sat before the Lord and prayed, Who am I, O sovereign Lord? And what is my family that you have brought me this far? And now, sovereign Lord, in addition to everything else, you speak of giving your servant a lasting dynasty? Do you deal with everyone this way, O sovereign Lord? What more can I say to you? You know what your servant is really like, sovereign Lord. Because of your promise and according to your will, you have done all these great things and have made them known to your servant. How great you are, O Sovereign Lord! There is no one like you. We have never even heard of another God like you. What other nation on earth is like your people Israel? What other nation, O God, have you redeemed from slavery to be your own people? You made a great name for yourself when you redeemed your people from Egypt. You performed awesome miracles and drove out the nations and gods that stood in their way. You made Israel your very own people forever, and you, O oh Lord, became their God. And now, O oh Lord God, I am your servant. Do as you have promised concerning me and my family. Confirm it as a promise that will last forever. And may your name be honored forever so that everyone will say, The Lord of heaven's army is God over Israel. And may the house of your servant David continue before you forever. O Lord of heaven's armies, God of Israel, I have been bold enough to pray this prayer to you because you have revealed all this to your servant, saying, I will build a house for you a dynasty of kings. For you are God, O Sovereign Lord. Your words are truth, and you have promised these good things to your servant. And now, may it please you to bless the house of your servant, so that it may continue forever before you. For you have spoken, and when you grant a blessing to your servant, O Sovereign Lord, it is an eternal blessing. Let us pray. Father God, may it please you to bless the house of your servant so that it may continue forever before you. For you have spoken, and when you grant a blessing to your servant, O sovereign Lord, it is an eternal blessing. Amen. <music>